guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, what I'm going to do today is we are going to make some vintage French country farmhouse or Tuscan uh, flower pots. You can put artificial flowers in these, you could put balls in these, you could do so much. But I want to show you how I'm going to make them. It's similar to what I did with the ones in my kitchen window seal, except this time I'm going to be decoupaging um, some really cute uh, French country like sayings on there and I'll put the link in the description box for the free printables okay so let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this really cute project you're going to need two of these flower pots you could do three I did three for my windowsill I think it was a year or so ago but this um, is just they're the uh, ceramic clay flower pots and I got these at Home Depot because we had to go there. I hated to go out, but we had uh, a problem with our hall, uh, like our guest commode. And I like having two functioning um, commodes in the house. You never know when you need them. So while I was in Home Depot, I picked these flower pots up. You can get them at um, Walmart, I think but I didn't want to go there. And Dollar Tree has them sometimes smaller, but I didn't have any, okay? And then you'll need, if you want this collar that I spray painted them, you'll need some bare chalk decorative paint. And this is in miniature rose. And I just thought that was such a sweet, like French country look, all right? And then you'll need some Mod Podge. And I just have the mat. I use this all the time. And you'll need, I don't know what color paint I'm going to get. I was looking through my stash and I have the metallic antique copper. I think that's pretty for dry brushing. Or maybe the melted chocolate. And maybe the chocolate, metallic chocolate brown. I'm thinking I may go with this first. You could also just not spray paint these at all and just put white uh, paint, like just dry brush white paint on there. That would be very pretty. Now here are these free printables and I've already cut the ones out that I'm going to use, but they are so pretty. I'm going to be using this one and this one and this one, okay? And you'll just need a paper plate, a well-loved brush for dry brushing, um, and then either a foam brush or this brush for the Mod Podge, okay? And all you have to do is just go around there with scissors, just around that brown edge. You don't have to be too particular, and it gives you a great cut. So let me go ahead and flip the camera down, and we'll get started. Okay, I wanted to show this color to you up close, and I just sort of sprayed down inside. You could take a brush and just, if you don't want to use spray paint, and just brush down in here. You don't have to be too particular, but I love that color. It's so pretty, okay? Now, what I think I want to do first is dry brush, okay? And I'm pretty sure that I want to start with this metallic, chocolate brown. I really think that will go nicely with our French country flower pots. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little bit out on a paper plate. You don't need much. Get your brush, just put it in there and just dab off the excess. And then we're just going to go right around through here like this. Just go in around like that. I love this brush for dry brushing and that is what we're getting and I think that looks really good. And then if you see any place that you think needs a little bit more, you can go back. I'm not gonna make these really, really super old looking. And I may only put this one collar on. It's totally up to you what you do. Okay, you can do as much or as little or whatever color that you want. And like I said, these terracotta pots, you could just not even spray paint them and take white paint and put over them and they would be very pretty. And if you're going to do it for the window seal like I did before, you would definitely want 
I think three, okay? But that's what we're getting, it's so cute. Now, you could, like I said, you could go over, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to use the metallic chocolate brown, okay? Definitely going to use the one with the B. Um, and then I think this one, okay? So, what I'm going to do next, like I said, is just figure out where I want my front to be. Like which side I think really looks the best. And you could always add more, okay? And I'm going to get my Mod Podge and open it. And this is the mat, okay? And I'm just going to put it right on here. You could do a gloss if that's what you wanted. I really don't want to. And since you're not using a whole lot of paint, your paint will dry very fast, okay? Then we're going to just take some of this and apply it right over the top and just seal this in. Make sure you get enough to hold it underneath your print, okay? And that's what we're getting. And this will dry matte, like I said. And that's what we're getting. Isn't that so pretty? And it's so simple, okay? So this one, I think I want this one. Let's look, do I want that one? Or maybe do I want the smaller one? I think. I think I'm going to use this one, okay? So we're just going to put some Mod Podge right on here. Make sure you do get enough so that this is um, cardstock that I printed this out on. I just went to my computer and printed these images out on white cardstock. Okay, press it down and then come right over it with some more Mod Podge. If it's not wanting to stick, put a little bit more Mod Podge under there and then it will stick. Now you can wait once these have totally dried and spray a sealer over them. I don't think I'm going to, but I love this effect. Now what we can do, because I think the, um, This is a little, well, not so much on this one, but it's a little too stark for the aged look of the pot. So you could leave it like this and it would be totally pretty, but I think I'm going to go take a hair dryer to these to make sure the Mod Podge is dry. And then I'm gonna come back and put a little bit of dry brushing on the labels. I'll be right back. Okay, here they are. I think they are so pretty and I just took them in there, used a hair dryer set on medium cool and then bumped it up to high cool and I love how it turned out. This is such a vintage French country farmhouse, even Tuscan uh, DIY for flower pots. I love these, okay? Now, you can leave them alone, like I said, if you want, or you can just slightly, very slightly take this brush that has a little bit on there and it kind of just I hope you can see like right there it's just taking some of that white off I mean this is basically dry but it's just making it to where it's not so stark white and I love that and we'll do the same thing for this one I may have to put some more out you just have to be really careful. Okay, then we'll take some of this and we'll just lightly, very lightly, because you could overdo this easily, and just make it look like 
See, it's just, they just look older and not so stark. Like I said, you could leave it white if you want, but I prefer it looking just a little bit older. And I think I'm going to make this one look just a little bit older. And that's what we're getting. I love them. Okay, so now what you can do, you could put, if you wanted one of these balls in here like this, and you would have this. This is so cute. I love how that is. Just a set, I may put this in my hutch to be honest, so you could do that. Or you could just take flowers. I have this left over from where I um, But see, you could have it like that. That is so pretty. You could do that. Or you could take some of this that I had lavender mix, $3. I got quite a while ago at Walmart. I love lavender and it definitely gives you that French country feel. And just start putting it in there. You could put it in the foam. You don't have to put it in the foam. It's totally up to you what you do. You could fold it kind of back some if you want. You could put the moss down in here like I did for the ones at, uh, in my windowsill from Dollar Tree, that moss, it would be adorable. But you can style these so many ways, it is not even funny. Okay, we'll take a look at them. Okay, here's this one. I love how that looks. It looks like maybe you're growing a little bit of lavender or maybe you picked lavender from your garden and put it in this vintage French country farmhouse Tuscan flower pot. I love that. Or maybe just this one, like you're starting a small plant. And I love these uh, free printables that I'm going, like I said, put in the description box below. And you really, if you would see these out at like Hobby Lobby, anywhere, you would pay so much money for these and they're so simple to do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it. It's, you know, right now while we're at home, you can really make some upscale items that if you would purchase, like I said, you would spend a lot of money for. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you as part of our family. So until next time, guys, stay safe. Bye.